Welcome back everyone to another Bloons Tower Defense Battles video. Um, last episode we took our first loss, so we went 10 and 0 before we took our first loss. And we lost 100 medallions in that battle, so we have to go all the way back to White Wasteland. And we gotta work our way back up. That's the best thing we can do right now. And I was hoping to show you a strategy that I really like and I use a lot. But being that I don't have the medallions to get the upgrades that I need, I'm afraid I won't be able to do that. So if this doesn't work out, which it should, but I haven't like closed up the the window and then reopened it. So I'm going to do that real quick. And, or no, I'm not. All right. So one of us is going to lose all our medallions right here. And hopefully it is not me. I'm going to bring the dart monkey like I, like I said last time. If I had the dart monkey, it probably would have helped a bit. But not as much as I would have liked. Because I only have the third tier instead of the um, I only have the third tier instead of having the fourth tier as well. So where can we put this? Let's try using farms today. actually put a lizard right here an apprentice so we just lost our spike so we're gonna get the intense magic how much is this 712 um i had to sell the farm for the lightning and i'm actually gonna sell this and get another wizard for the intense magic so we had to revert back to our old strategy, which is alright. I mean, we, we bring the wizards with us for a reason. So he has seen three of our towers, which is... Mm, okay. Whereas we've on, we only now just seen two. I wanted to use farms, bruh. You crushed my dreams. I didn't get to do it. Anyway... So, I don't think a round 8 rush would work in this case. Um, I've actually been able to prevent it with a double shot myself. So, we're going to have to go with either the 10 rush or the 13 rush. I'm probably going to use the 10 rush just to lower his health, but I highly doubt it will take him out. I'm not even sure how much it will lower his health by. Let's see if we can get a farm going. Or if he'll try to troll us again. Um, now, do I prefer banana farms or um, eco? More recently, I've preferred banana farms. I used to be, I used to hate people that use banana farms, but once I started using them myself, I saw the benefits of them, and I thought that they were actually really, really good. Um, we're gonna put this one. Oh, oh, no, alright, won't be able to get it in time. Uh, so we'll try sending these just to lower his health. I'm not sure if it's going to do much. He's clearly saving up for something. And what I'm going to end up doing, yeah, he, see, he had enough to buy that. So he was saving up for something right there. He's probably saving up for his own 13 rush. And we are actually bringing him down a bit. But we're just going to keep on sending it, and he's going to send us... Regen pinks. What, what's the point of that, man? I mean, we're sending you spaced whites, and I think we're still doing some damage. Oh, it's round 13. Uh, I'll send those, which will be at the end of it. He's getting that. I hope to God he doesn't have enough to get it to a reactor. Because if he boosts here, I should be able to sell my farm and then send the rest of it. Uh, no, I'm just going to have to send here... Uh, hopefully that's enough to take him out. I do not want to take two losses in a row. That would be really heartbreaking for me. Uh, are we able to finish him off? 
Yes, we are. 20 medallions in the bank. We gotta make the road to recovery, guys. <sighs> On the way to recovery. Um, I actually would like to go to bed about now. It's about 11, it's actually 11.05 as I'm recording this. Um, so... Uh, this is gonna be another short one, guys. This, um, if we can't find anyone, this will be the last one. Um... All right, so this this is gonna be the last one, and then afterwards, um, I'm gonna have to end the video because um, I have school tomorrow. Uh, we are 91%, which is really good. Um, I don't really like that map. Uh, I'll take it, but again, don't really like it. So actually, do we have the farms right? Yeah, we have the farms. No. No, oh, this is this is better. This is actually better. Um, I'm gonna get these, the well, these, these. Uh, good luck. Let's see what we get for a bonus. Cobra, nah. Boomerang. I will take a boomerang. I was gonna do a strategy. I'm even on the right side to do my the strategy that I want to do now. That right there is my phone. What's happening? Oh, okay. Dang. I just realized how quickly it uh, charges itself. Um, I'm gonna put my spikes down. So, if you ever need... If you, if you have a need of just getting something up on, thi on this particular map, I've done this so many times, all you need is 42 seconds, I believe. Might be 48. Looks like it's gonna end up being 48. Yeah, you need 48 seconds, and if you get a Bionic Boomer in this particular spot, it is clutch. You can even get 2-2 two -two and just put them all around. I, I've, I've gotten a bunch of 2-2 two -two as well, and it is so clutch. It can defend everything a Bionic Boomer can see. I mean, right here, it's clutch as it is. And, heck, put it on last. It'll constantly shoot in this cycle. The, like the path of my mouse and it is so clutch just about nothing can get through it because even when they're coming back around the second time guess what you're facing the exact same boomerang monkey if you just get a bunch of these guys a bunch of 2-2 two -two, like I'll do right here I'll get 2-2 two -two monkey uh, two, two, two monkeys there's one and then in a little bit I'll get my second one and you just put them to throw like whatever you want you can put them on strong you put them on last you put them on close you can keep them on first they are so clutch. If you were to just... You, I've gotten to level, like, 20. I mean, I'll, yeah, I've lost a few lives because camo. But I I have gotten to level 20 with five two two boomerangs on this map. Boomerangs are, I think, an original tower. If not, I'm, they either came in two or three. I don't recall them in the first Bloom's Tower Defense battles. Or f first Bloom's Tower Defense in general. But, boomerangs are one of, like, the best things, and they've been around for so long. So, I was actually going to originally do a, um, hybrid of one of my favorite strategies, and a stra the strategy I've been using recently, but being that I got boomerangs, this is so clutch. It, it, it's not even worth trying to do anything else. That was my... On this computer, when you left click and right click at, at the like the exact same time, that pops up. So y'all saw it. See, watch this, dude. I'm going to destroy these, and the bionic boomer is able to take it out. The bionic boomer is able to take it out. If you just put it on last, and right here, you're gonna have some leaking through, but it should be able to get them if it does. Ah, oh, it got popped by the spikes, but that's all right, guys. It's perfectly fine. Now, I have to figure out what to rush him with, because he's got a wizard in a, pr a pretty good spot. Um, but he's also got all those dart monkeys, so a regen white rush probably wouldn't work. Uh, the only time when this gets really rowdy is probably when it gets to that part where um they're spaced out. But eventually, it'll it, it'll work out. Uh, for when it gets spaced out, I recommend putting it on first, cause then it'll be just ace. 
see right here we're gonna have to get some camera protection so I'm gonna put a wizard right here and in just a moment we're going to try and rush to destroy see what we can do and if necessary I don't understand why you're not boosting but if necessary which it's not going to be we would end up selling this wizard for another rush and it wasn't necessary so we're on the road to recovery guys this is Darkethos saying peace out, and I will see y'all next time.